Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing my next update for my 2020 Pan That palette that turned into a Pan My Face palette. The 2020 the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar palette. So if you've missed my last few updates, I'll just have the whole playlist in the cards because we've come a long way with this palette. To the point where I did repress most of it into a new face palette. So before I get into my last month's worth of progress, let's go ahead and run the slideshow of my progress to this point.
And this is my palette now. As you can see, I've only got this one last black shade here. I actually, this past month, hit really bad hard pan in the shade. So whenever I go in to use it, either in my eyebrows or as eyeshadow, I've been chipping off a little bit of the shadow and then using it with a brush. And by doing that, I've actually been able to use up a lot of it just in the last month, month and a half. And so there really isn't too much left here in the pan. As for my face palette, this is what we're working with right now. Mainly, I've been using these shades, contour, bronzer, I've been using these, these like almost daily. And then I've been really going for this purple blush. You might not like think that it would look so great on a pale complexion such as myself, you know, Casper, or Snow White. Um, but this looks really nice because it doesn't come off super pigmented. You kind of have to build it up a little bit, but the undertone to the purple looks so pretty. So like these are the three shades I've been using the most. Um, the top of the purple is kind of crumbling because I've been using it so much. I really need to repress this. I've also really liked these two shades down here. Again, they're not super pigmented. They really take a little bit of building up, which is great in a blush because then you can really build it up for the intensity that you actually want it at. But I've actually really been enjoying this palette and this is the face palette I've been reaching for every day. Ignore my crappy nail polish, please. <laughs> Yeah, so like I said, I've been reaching for this face palette every day. For the month of November, I've actually been adding um, some new shades just to kind of work with the contour and the bronzer. This is a Smashbox bronzer, I believe, and then this is a Kevin Aquan uh, contour. So I've really just been reaching for these shades. I've been having a lot of fun. I basically have every blush shade I could ever want or need here. And like I said before, I really like the purple. I'm actually wearing the purple shade today. And you can see just like a little bit of the undertone there. It's It takes a bit to build up, which is great because I don't want a stark purple shade on my cheeks. But it looks so <laughs> nice. And that's really the blush I've been reaching for the most here. I mean, other than that, I really like this palette. If anything... Yeah, I don't know what else I could do other than continue using this palette. I'm so glad that I made a contour and a bronzer because these really are great shades for me. I don't think I mentioned it before, but I'm also wearing this contour and this bronzer today. Um, so I've got a combination of everything in this face palette on my face today. And it just, it it's, it's working really well for me. And I have to say, I really enjoy reaching for this face palette over, you know, what's left in this palette. So I can honestly, I cannot wait to finish up this tiny little bit that's left because I think I could probably finish that by, I don't want to jinx myself, but by the next update, if not the end of this progress, like this project, you know, in December. Because <sighs> I would be so happy if I could just finish this project by finishing up what's left in here. And then, I don't know, maybe repotting this into like a different Z palette or something just to make it a more permanent uh, face palette in my collection but I've, I've really been enjoying these blush shades and like I said the only downside is that this purple blush it is crumbling a bit so I'm probably going to have to repress it. So that is it for now. <laughs> Honestly I've just been really enjoying the blushes, the face palette, and then just trying to finish up that black shade in the actual palette itself. That's all I've got going for right now. A nice kind of quick update. Let me know down below if you have this palette, if you've been reaching for it, or if you don't, how your 2020 pen that palette, if you have one, is going. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.